guys, it's Leah Many here. I'm crawling out of the woodwork for a new video. I know it's been a while and I want to explain myself this time. I haven't forgotten about this channel and I haven't been too busy to even think about it. I want to reassure you guys of that. Something terrible happened. Don't panic. It would be minor to anyone else, but to me, it was everything. And if you for some reason don't care about my soul searching, paradigm shifting, character defining journey that I went on the past few months, click right here, skip to the update. So this is what happened. I lost all my music. Pain without love, pain. I still had whatever I uploaded online to YouTube and to SoundCloud, a bunch of old stuff that was bad quality anyways. So I used FL Studio to write and produce a lot of my songs. And there are these things called project files. They're like Microsoft document files. Like if you have like essays saved to your computer and stuff. I lost all of those. I made the mistake of trusting a two terabyte Seagate hard drive, which I thought was a good brand. And within six months of me buying it, it ripped itself to shreds from the inside out. Damaged beyond repair, beyond fixing. Just because it was built wrong. The $100 a month recovery software did manage to find thousands of files, but they were all corrupted. I couldn't use any of them. So I paid a technician who claimed that they could do a better job of recovering the files $500. And the $500 recovery job that the technician promised would be better recovered 400 gigabytes of the same corrupted garbage. So the same unusable crap was in a lot more folders that I sifted through and sifted through. And I still sift through to this day just to make sure that they're all unusable. And so far so good, so bad. So after spending upwards of $800, I found all my music where did I find all my music? A little crappy coffee stain, 64 gigabyte USB stick. Old technology came through for me. So earlier in this year, I had to repair my computer for something else. So it turns out I backed up all my important files onto that USB stick and then forgot about them. So if I hadn't completely forgotten about what was good foresight at the time, I would be $800 richer and I'd have brand deals and sponsorships by now on this channel. I'm kidding. So in the most materialistic and nostalgic sense, I've experienced true loss. All my music gone and back. And because I'm nearly traumatized from this, I have like four hard drives now and I have backup software. So I'm not going anywhere, baby. These last few months, I've been scratching all my plans and coming up with new ones from scratch. I was planning a series of remaking songs from recordings and from memory. All I had were screenshots of names of music projects my memory of what the song sounded like. Some of them were exported. And I had some desperate motivational notes strewn all around to motivate me along the way. I'm going to have to recreate everything if worse comes to worse. That means all I have is my intellectual property in my brain and all the skills I've acquired, plus whatever assets I've uploaded online. That is enough to still make incredible music as well as sell what I have left. No rush, take it slow. I have one month to recover any files I lost with this process. I was feeling real That being said, I'm way more optimistic now and let's get started with the channel update. So speaking of remaking songs, uh, some of the ones I unfortunately didn't back up for some reason were all the Yandere Simulator songs. So don't fear, that doesn't mean you're gonna lose it or anything, and I'm actually in the process of remaking them. And the reason that I'm remaking the stuff is so I can modify it in the future if I have to, like I did for the hip hop remix. This time I'm doing it for someone else and it's for a fellow Turtle Tank buddy of mine. And it's for Yandere Simulator, of course, and I can't spoil anything, but it's gonna be good. So look forward to it. I'm not gonna put all my eggs into one Yandere Simulator basket. I do so much more than just music for that game. In the past, I divided the wide variety of stuff I do among four Four different channels and that turned out not to be such a great idea because I can't even post more than twice a year on this channel where all my subscribers are. So 
On this channel, I plan to post videos where I score soundtracks for games, TV, and movies, and I'm still gonna do that, so stick around. I created Liam Many Beats for beat making and ciphers. Liam Many 2 was for covers, remixes, and mashups. And Liam Many was for original music and music videos. And I was gonna have like a miscellaneous channel for stuff like bullying advice, anxiety advice, stuff that I went through growing up that I'm sure you guys are experiencing now, some of you. And I also have lists and opinions. I'm a very opinionated person, especially when it comes to music, because I'm super passionate about that. I realize you guys are too. So all of that content is going to be on this main channel now. So I'm going to throw all my ideas at you from now on and see what sticks. If you want to receive all my content instead of the one Yandere Simulator video I might occasionally post, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell because otherwise the algorithm will only recommend my Yandere Simulator content. My goal Goal is to hit a thousand subs so that way I can have a community tab so I can communicate with you guys and we can do polls and we can do contests all sorts of fun stuff so here are the videos I have coming up I have a mashup song coming up it's called bitch better have my 16 shots and it's a remix of Rihanna's bitch better have my money and Steph Don's 16 shots and here's a sneak peek of that I also have a cover slash remix of Close by Nick Jonas featuring Tove Lo that I made about the pandemic and being separated from your loved ones and your lover. Check that out. Soon enough, so tag along. Call me selfish, but it's not enough. You've had a crisis, makes me wanna touch. It's hard enough to deal with social distance when I wanna get you. I also have an original song coming out that I did with a great friend and collaborator, Dildo Swaggins. And no, that name is not meant to be taken seriously, but he has some seriously good bars in this song. So here is a quick review of that. And we drop that shit like it ain't a single patent on it, or any of its components. Cure for the ills, we the petal of the lotus. I die for my passion and face. I ride the madness till they make ashes of me. I'm a rock show, I'm a blow smoke, funny ass bitch, tell them no joke. I died for my passion. There might even be another surprise collaborator on it, I don't know yet. So there's a song called Animals that came out by All Time Low, and Demi Lovato kind of brought it to fame. Um, by doing a remix of it, and I am doing a remix of that remix. It's gonna be kind of like a grittier, dark hip hop version of it. And here's a little sneak preview of that. Just to wrap things up, if you want to support me, please hit the notification bell. Give this video a like if you are excited for my future content. If you can help me on this brutal quest to conquer the YouTube algorithm, I will appreciate it so much. If you have any ideas or requests to do with the topics that I am going to post about, I will definitely take them into consideration as well, depending on how good your idea is. Let's be real. So I'll see you all again in the next video. Thanks for paying attention to me. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day.